It's the, uh, the Book of Noah. Um, the children's edition. Um, I got this as a prize at Sunday school. I used to go every week. I believed in all this till I was about eight. Um, <laughs> this is when I was four. Um, St. Agnes Sunday School, presented to Ricky Gervais, R-I-double-K-I, like a fucking mongoose. Uh, <laughs> for regular attendance, not even for doing anything good, just for turning up. Oh, <laughs> oh he's always here, give him some, he'll be back. Thank you. <laughs> Let's have a look at the evidence. Long, long ago, when God first made the earth, I'll let both those points slip, we haven't got time, okay. <laughs> long, long ago, I should just say, um, is 5,000 years, uh, according to the Bible. According to the Old Testament, the Earth is no older than 5,000 years, okay? Which puts us around the time of the agricultural revolution. Uh, it's actually 4.6 billion years old. Let's pop that in. <laughs> 4.6 6 billion years ago, when God first made the Earth and sky. All right, don't big it up. I mean, it, it comes as a package, really, doesn't it? You can, <laughs> the sky was never an optional extra. It could be... Built your planet. I can't breathe. Would you like an atmosphere? Of course I fucking would. So... <laughs> everything was peaceful. Everything beautiful. God made human beings too. And he wanted them to be good like himself. Arrogant. Right. <laughs> but very soon they wanted their own way. They would not listen to God. They became wicked and did wicked things. Look at them doing wicked things there. <laughs> Look at that. You can't get more wicked than that. Really. Oh, fuck off, wicked. <laughs> God looked at them and said to himself, they are so wicked, I will have to wipe them off the face of the earth. <laughs> really? That's your only choice, is it? That's you, you'll have to. Straight to genocide. <laughs> no one verbal and two written warnings. No, just straight to the annihilation of the entire human race because a fatty yellow trousers has picked someone's nose. <laughs> that's, that's your solution, is it? I mean, anger management, chill the fuck out. <laughs> I read this book to Carl Pilkington, right? Who, yeah, he is an absolute, yes, he is my, yeah. Head like a fucking orange, I know. Um, but I got to this bit and I said, they are so wicked, I will have to wipe them the face of the earth. And Carl goes, he sounds gay. I went, what do you mean? He went, some gays are a bit like that. <sighs> he thought God was having a hissy fit. <laughs> like God's going, look what they've done. No, they're treating me like a I'm going to treat them like a I, I said, Carl, God is not gay. <laughs> Read the Bible, he hates them. <laughs> they are so wicked, I would have to wipe them the face of the earth. And every living thing with them. <laughs> What's the squid ever done? In Leviticus, I think it is, they list all the animals that you're... all the punishments for sleeping with them. Like, if you lay with a stoat, you'll do this, and if you lay with something, you'll do that, and it killed. And one of them is, if you, if you sleep with a squid, you get smitten in the knees. <laughs> so if people come back from the beach like that, you know exactly what they've done. 